Good morning, guys. It's not even 8 o'clock on this beautiful Mother's Day morning, but I'm right where I want to be in my garden. I'm going to be getting some things transplanted in the garden this morning, so come along with me and enjoy. Hey guys, so to save on some time, I went ahead and filled the pots with some soil. So let me turn this around and show you what I put All in. Alright, so we are using this um, Pro Mix Organic Garden Mix. Um, I also added some earthworm castings. As you can see, I had to open up a new bag. I added some of this all-purpose fertilizer. I probably added about, I don't know, a little more than a handful to each one because this is just a 222. And I also put in some perlite and vermiculite. That's pretty close. <laughs> um, that's a big bag that I ordered off of Amazon. So that's what I have in these three um, bags. What I do, I know that I've seen where some gardeners sift their garden soil that they buy. I don't. I kind of, unless I got something that's really full of like rocks and sticks, but like little pieces of stick and stuff, if you're gardening in your ground, you're going to have that. So I'm not going to pull that out. It's not going to hinder my stuff from growing i didn't do it last year stuff grew we're not bothering with that but like i said if i see even if i see as i'm going through big pieces of stuff i'll pull them out and throw them into my yard but yeah not going through that so what we are going to do is i'm going to set the camera up so that you can see and i'm going to be putting these purple beauty bell peppers into these containers as you can see I have four plants I have three containers that's because that bag only fills three of them this was a brand new bag I do have another bag in my garage but I know I'm gonna need more so I was like you know what we'll get these three done and then I'm gonna make a store run and go buy some more because I'm gonna need more potting mix because I have um, cantaloupe at some point that's going to have to get potted and I'm planning on putting them in these pots. I also think I'm going to put the celery in one of these pots because that way I can move it around. Um, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I want to make sure I give it the best chance of growing. So I don't want it to be getting too much sun. I don't know if that's a thing for celery or not. I just want to be able to move it around if I need to. So anyway. So this year, it's going to be in a pot. So let me turn this, uh, set this camera up, and then you will see, I will show you me potting these up. Alrighty. Alright guys, so I think I got you positioned to be, let me check. Yes. To be able to see what's going on here. So we are going to transplant these. And all you need to do is, kind of, I usually just press a little bit at the bottom. And then you want to put your fingers, you can put the first two or middle two, whatever, however you feel comfortable getting it out. And then I just turn it over and kind of shake it a little bit. And there you have it. So we'll just make a little spot in the middle. Just stick that down in. And then you just cover it back up with some soil. Simple as that. And as it grows, the roots will spread out. And most likely, you probably fill this whole dang on bag, to be quite honest. So, there you have it. I'm going to speed this up and fill these other two bags.
and also guys you don't need to press I don't know if it looks like I'm pressing a lot on it but I'm not you just want to press gently around the soil around the plant you don't have to press it down really tight and there you have it so like I said these are just my first three I have one left so I'm gonna go get some more soil so I can <coughs> excuse me so I can fill up another bag and then we're gonna get this one potted but I'll do that off camera I just wanted to show you guys how that's done and even if you're planting in a raised bed or in ground same concept you just want to make your little hole wherever you want to put it put it down the ground cover it with that soil and I don't know if you noticed but my soil is already moistened so you just definitely want to moisten your soil wherever you're putting it at and then just kind of lightly pack it around the plant and there you go let it be and um, I probably will not do anything to these outside of watering them for the next couple weeks see how they're doing I probably I don't know I may not even fertilize them for about three weeks um, or so we'll see anyway hope you like this video guys and I will talk to you again soon bye